PC key 25 for performance mode. And let's go. Alright, so let's get this out of the way first, okay? So the Akai APC key 25 is built for Ableton, and we all know that. So um, basically what that is is that they actually make all the buttons and everything locally for Ableton so that but I guess no other dog can use it. I got this keyboard at this this is my very first keyboard, actually, that I've gotten ever for my, my uh, produ for my producing, and I just wanted it for the keyboard, and I thought the uh, the knobs and buttons would look nice, but I did not know that I could not use the buttons for performance mode other than it being random notes on as MIDI. So, what I decided to do was try to look up online how to basically change the buttons, basically trick the system to say, hey, instead of pressing this key, you press this other key in its place. So, for example, if I go to if I actually go in performance mode right now, I um, um and I press the top button, it would work, right? Normally it wouldn't work. Now, the way I did this was a thing called MIDI aux. Now this looks a little overwhelming so I'm going to break this down for you so basically what what this is showing you is basically all the details you need to know about this certain button that you're pressing so for example if you're pressing you know it's just monitoring what you're pressing so if you press I'm gonna press middle C here I accidentally pressed two buttons right there, but you can see it's middle C, C4, C4. Um, now the channels is basically how the keyboard separates itself. So the buttons are actually on channel one. I pressed the top button right there, so it's showing here that I'm actually pressing a G sharp instead of a instead of a, a G sharp one instead of a C negative one C minus one whatever where so that is basically what this whole program is supposed to do now you're supposed to get this MIDI aux and also loop B MIDI which basically what it is it's a driver that basically can um, think of it as a plug you know you gotta plug it in so that you could um, press it into the computer and it makes the no noisy clicks that you like so first off when you first open this it's not going to actually look like this so what you're gonna have to do you know you can uh, you have to press the display raw input and output and those probably might be in full screen uh, I don't exactly know how ex how I got that to work work but I just messed around with the program enough to where I got it to these two screens so now you can see that I'm pressing the G sharp and instead of the C uh, instead of the C so the way I did this was that I went to let me check on my notes over here here 
options MIDI device. So first I have to tell MIDI aux that I'm using my Akai APC key 25 which is on the input and it'll go out from the loop B internal MIDI which we will get that in a, we will get into that first in in a second as to why it's important to put this as an output so we did that we still get everything there's stuffs going around here and everything that you like so another thing to do is, is when you go online you're going to want to go go to an uh it's like a basically MIDI note numbers. You know, I searched up note numbers this last uh few days just for uh you know just for kicks but basically you're gonna want to look at this first number and and these notes. So uh, the number and then the notes. So you're gonna want to look for the input first, which for me was G sharp or A flat. So for my for me it was 32, and I wanted to go to C negative one, which is like the lowest point of, of you know the lowest note you can play on a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI anything and that obviously is going to be zero zero note 32 note zero note for me so once I find that out you go to options and then data mapping I'm actually going to delete this here so I can show you guys exactly how to do it so you go to options data mapping and then insert now here is very important because this is where you tell the program and the com computer what to do and what not to do right so in the channels remember when I was talking about about the channels the buttons actually have their own channels channel 1 this is the um keys that's channel 2 i think it ha uh, it has 16 channels but i don't know what they're all used for so the buttons are channel 1 you see it's uh it's playing that c but it's supposed to be playing that G sharp. So let's pretend that that's there. So channel one, event type, I go note on off and note on, or note on and note off because I want to, you know, because I'm a, I want to be neat and it's gonna be a lot on these keys, but Okay, so remember when I told you about the MIDI notes? That's where these note numbers come in right here. So for me, it's 32, 32, not negative 32. And then and on the output, you just you leave these alone except these. So instead of negative 1, there's 0. You leave every everything the same because basically match input is matching what this is and, you know it's going to say the same thing so after that this is probably not going to be checked on but you're going to have to check on turn map on after ok so you check that and you press ok and you should have the C negative one that we all need and love so much so now we actually have to go into FL Studio now if you didn't actually if you didn't already open that up oh I forgot that's why I made these notes you're supposed to pass 
the system X. Uh, I forgot what what, what system executable system ex extension. Uh, I don't know, but you're supposed to pass this. You're supposed to check this so that you can actually get it to work. So I minimize this MIDI mapping. I did that. Did that. Turn check on after. Okay. All right. So if you want to see where it's routed from, I actually have it run in the taskbar. You can click this button right here for the taskbar. If you want to actually have it when you minimize it to be in the tray. So in order to view your port routings, you go to view port routings and then that's where you can connect and de disconnect your um, outputs and inputs. So you can see it's not registering anything because I disconnected my APC. So if I connect it back, you get that sound. So, so it's going from the uh, uh, APC to the driver to MIDI aux to FL Studio. So basically that's what it's doing. So once you're actually actually in FL Studio now you go to options MIDI settings if you didn't already open it up and this didn't open already leave the Akai A or APC key 25 or any other MIDI input that you have keep that disabled because if you enable it it's going to come up with this message and you don't want that so you disable it and then you enable the loopy internal MIDI and then you'll you should start getting some noise and then once you press play and you're getting the sound so that's basically how you do it um, it's kind of a rough very brute force way but it's basically the only way I know how to actually keep it running um I don't know exactly how to change the lights on them but the fact that I can actually have lights on in the first place is since I'm that kind of person I, I like lights so it's not a bother to me I will would like to configure lights at some point but that's not a problem to me so um yeah you can basically link all the notes and, and everything to whatever notes you want and yeah so if you appreciated this if you enjoyed it if you liked it hit the like button Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I will get to you in another video. Peace.